I have a theory about Lance Stewart. I have no evidence to support this theory. Let's call it a gut feeling. This man gets most of his nutrients from breast milk. Why do I think this? Well, take a look at his face. Take a look at his mouth. Now look me in the eye and tell me that that is not a mouth that doesn't feast on the teat at least daily. I know you can't, because I couldn't. Anyway, now that I've gotten that off my chest, let's get on to the content. Okay guys, so it is currently like 6 a.m. and I woke up, I felt a super sharp pain on my back, like something almost like burning, like a burning sensation. And I went to go check in the mirror and it almost looks like there's scratch marks on my friggin' back. I'm tripping the hell out right now. Do you see this on my back? What's on my back? I can't see anything. Lean, lean down. <gasps> so in this video, he's trying to convince his girlfriend and us, the audience, that a demon has attacked him in his sleep, hence the scratch marks. But I think there is a far more likely scenario at foot. So picture this, Lance goes out for a night on the town with his boys. He gets a bit tipsy, he has a few too many bevs, we've all done it. Then he meets a cute girl at the club. He goes home with this girl, who proceeds to get a bit rough with him. Now he manages to avoid most damage during the conflict, but unfortunately he didn't avoid the scratch marks on his back. Now he's woken up the next morning and his girlfriend said to him, Lance, what's with the scratch marks mate? And he's thinking, shit, I gotta come up with an excuse. I gotta come up with an excuse that's flawless. No one will be able to refute this. Alright. A demon. A demon. <laughs> A demon attacked me. A demon attacked me in my sleep. Uh, those pesky demons. They're always going at me. The, the occult and the Ouija board and all that shit. <laughs> Now seriously, it's feeding time, bitch. I haven't been vlogging pretty much all day today. I've just felt like complete shit today. I'm super tired. I feel like passing out right now, but I'm going to grab- Is he on a fucking hoverboard? Hey guys, just to clarify, this is Chris. Bitch. This is Cody. Bang. Not not Brody. <laughs> this is Russell. Yes. That is definitely a hoverboard in the middle of a hotel. Hey, fuck the police! Yeah, fuck those police, right Lance? You're a real cool kid now. You're real rabble-rousers, really causing chaos around the city, aren't you? <laughs> Bro, speaking of how you want, that's your Second Amendment right. Alright, look. I'm not American. My knowledge of the Constitution is vague at best. But I'm pretty sure that the Second Amendment is not the right to a fucking hoverboard. But hey, I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. Tell me. But I don't think I am. Man, my board is dying, so we're heading back right now. I haven't recorded that much today for the vlog. I feel so ashamed of myself. Because usually I have like all this footage for you guys, but today just really wasn't that exciting of a day. Check out the fucking power stance this guy's got going on in the background here. This is a man who truly thinks that he is Chad Diesel. But mate, your Shirley Temple drinking ass is just Eugene unleaded. Me and Lizzie have decided that our relationship really isn't working the best. It's a mutual agreement. We we both We've tried. Yeah, we have tried. Multiple times. You know, I know I know this question is gonna be asked a million times. Like why? Why what's the specific reason as to you guys separating? There's not a specific reason. There's not reason. a specific reason. It's more so a build-up of things over time. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, Lance and his girlfriend Lizzie broke up at the end of 2018. And look, Lance, man, that's sad. You know, I don't want to see anyone go through that. And a lot of people at the time were saying that this is fake. They're just going to get back together and it's all going to go back to normal. I don't think that was the case. I think that it was as real as real could be. What I do dispute, however, is the reason for breakup. Now, Lance says that they were fighting, that they'd just not been getting along for a while, and it was time to end things. I don't think that was true. Now I did some quick googling and found that the longest a woman has ever breastfed a child for is about 12 years. Now Lance and Lizzie were together for about 7 years, and I don't think that Lizzie is going to be going for any world records here. You know, she's just your average girl, how could she? So Lance has dried the well, 
so to speak. And look, if she can't provide the milk that he needs, then he's got to end it. And from what I can see, he's now engaged to a lovely lady who has really set up the pump for him. You know, he's a growing boy and he needs those calciums and those nutrients to, you know, get going. And, you know, good for you, Lance. Do you think this is a firm one? It's pretty firm, yes it is. If somebody jumps on it, it's not going to like break, right? No, no, it shouldn't break. You I'm sure? I'm positive. What you doing now? Well, I'm going to test it out and make yeah, sure it's good. Don't jump from up there. Oh my god. You told me it wasn't going to break. No, no. I didn't mean for you to jump from up there. So in this video, Lance has decided to just mosey on into a furniture store and start wrecking shop. Quite literally. If I can make it blue, it's pretty oh, easy. Wait, 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 look, wait, look. Wait, wait. Oh. What the hell are you doing? I was just playing a joke. And look here, he's just pouring ink all over this dude's couch. Like these things can be upwards of a thousand dollars, Lance. You think he's not gonna pull you away from the damn thing? You pulled me. No, I did not. I tried just to hold you for that thing. You yeah, it's a joke. It, it, it comes out, it's disappearing ink. I don't know where the bot, look, look. It says disappearing. And then he starts telling the guy that he's gonna have to pay for it. I guess you're gonna have to pay for it, man. Not me. You broke it, you pulled me. You broke it. I don't know on the, on the table. You did. You have security footage, but we're gonna have to check it. Sure. Like, Lance, this is just a dickhead thing to pull on someone. How much is this? $29.99. Security! No, 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 come on, sir. You're stuck. This one? No, please stop. But I like this one. You're gonna get in trouble. And now he's just walking around smashing shit on the floor. You know, you know what he's acting like? He's acting like a child that hasn't had his milk today. Is that what happened, Lance? You haven't had a little suckle today? Aw, Lancey. So, look, basically what I'm trying to say is that Lance Stewart is a small dick, smooth brain, breast milk drinking fucking dough ball that can just fuck right off.